No. Um, this smells like some sort of a polish that I have for my car. It's a it's a Chanel wannabe. Oh, hold the phone. Birch and black pepper, where the hell did you come from? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a part two to my haul, uh, my fragrance oil haul uh, for my rustic collection that I'm going to be releasing in 2023. So this will be a bunch of fragrances that I am giving you first impressions on um, from four different suppliers. So, uh, so today we have Candle Science, Aztec, Flaming Candle, and also Nature's Garden. So if you haven't watched part one, I would recommend listening to that um, before you watch part two. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna start with this uh, oak moss and sandalwood fragrance, and this is from Nature's Garden. Not really sure what that picture is supposed to be on there. Oh, this is very interesting. First impressions, it's earthy. I'm getting a lot of the oak moss and the sandalwood kind of equally balanced, maybe 60 oak moss and 40 sandalwood. This smells definitely like it could be an aromatherapy candle. Um, it is more on the kind of cologne side almost, mm, verging on deodorant, but not quite deodorant-esque. Um, I don't think this is what I'm going for for my rustic collection, but I do think that this fragrance is worth checking out. Oak moss and sandalwood from Nature's Garden. So this cutting board is for my nose. Uh, they're chopped and um, this is the fragrances that I'm going to be trying out. And then over here, this is going to be for my yeses. Um, the next fragrance that I'm going to be trying is Black Current Absinthe. And this is by Candle Science. This is a part of their Clean Scents collection. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like a sparkling champagne. You get like, a, I can smell like almost a carbonated element in this fragrance. This smells like New Year's, like New Year's Day. I've got a glass of champagne, I'm with my friends. We're doing a toast and we are celebrating the year that just passed and we are looking forward to a beautiful, bright new year filled with champagne. It's definitely a winter leaning fragrance. They're rich berries. Um, this fragrance I won't be using. Um, it's not what I'm looking for in my rustic collection, but this one is definitely worth checking out. Uh, Black Current Absinthe by Candle Science. Okay, uh, the next fragrance I'm gonna be trying is called Palo Santo Patchouli. And I'm going to probably be a pretty rough critic on this one um, because I haven't found any fragrances that truly smell like Palo Santo to me. Um, I'm still looking for the perfect Palo Santo fragrance. And um, so let's see if this is it. Oh yeah, this is, this is better than most though. Um, I think the patchouli actually really helps this fragrance out. Um, the Palo Santo is, <laughs> it's more of like a mahogany and teak wood with patchouli um, to me. Personally, I don't get Palo Santo from this at all, uh, but it's actually a beautiful mahogany teakwood. It has a really rich, earthy dimension to it. I don't like patchouli, but with this like mahogany element that this fragrance has, like rich sandalwood, like almost like deep. You're in a group of people, you smell this fragrance and you're like, what has he got on? What is he wearing? And this fragrance is like, I am gonna make a statement, but I'm not gonna be too forward with it. I am complex. I have a lot of uh, dimension refined. 
Palo Santo patchouli by the Flaming Candle. I am gonna put this in my no pile, but I would definitely uh, come back to that fragrance. Next up, I'm gonna be trying Birch and Black Pepper by the Flaming Candle. Now, I'm hoping that this is not like a deodorant. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Oh, wow. This fragrance, this does something to me. Hold, hold the phone. Birch and black pepper, where the hell did you come from? Okay, this is not at all like rustic collection, like earthy. Oh, it's earthy, but it's not like rustic earthy. It's like, I'm in a new American restaurant. Uh, with my friends. He's stately, he's refined. Birch and black pepper uh, from the Flaming Candle. I would definitely um, look more into that fragrance, but I won't be using it in my rustic collection. Uh, next up, I am going to be trying Magic in the Air by uh, Aztec Candle Supply. This is a BBW type. Oh, this is very true to name because I'm familiar with the Bath and Body Works fragrance for this, Magic in the Air. Um, and this smells like an exact dupe. It's perfumey, soapy, berries. This would make a beautiful lotion. Um, next up, I'm gonna be trying, let's go ahead and do this cappuccino espresso um, from the Flaming Candle. Oh, okay, this is, I got a coffee from this little shop. Kind of looks like a hole in the wall. They've got decent coffee, but something's going on with their espresso machine. Because this smells like it was mixed with some caramel that's been out too long. I don't know if there's a such thing as stale caramel Stale caramel mixed with a little bit of coffee flavoring. That would be this fragrance in a nutshell. Cappuccino, espresso. Uh, okay, next up I'm gonna be trying Rosemary and Mint Aveda type. And I have high hopes for this. I'm very familiar with the Aveda uh, fragrance, Rosemary and Mint. And I'm really looking for the perfect aromatherapy candle it's kind of more herbal, but, oh yes, honey, yes. I'm getting the mint, I'm getting the rosemary. It's light though. Uh, out of the bottle, it's, it's fairly light. Um, that's the only thing that concerns me. I will definitely be trying this in a candle. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and add this to my yes pile um, and uh, we'll see how the fragrance uh, comes out after I make that into a candle as far as the hot throw. Uh, okay, next up, I'm gonna be trying Hot Apple Pie by Candle Science. I also have very high hopes for this fragrance. You know, I'm really looking for something that is like cozy and warm for this collection that reminds me of autumn, but like of a hot pie baking. My grandmother always used to make hot apple pie around the holiday times and especially in the fall. So I am really hoping that this is true to name and not like this glorified cinnamon with a little bit of baked apple. Oh yes, oh yes. Yes, yes, and yes. And I'll tell you what, this is a part of the Candle Science Clean Scents collection. So this fragrance right here automatically meets my no BS standard, which is like my criteria for my candles. I'll talk more about what that really entails in a future video. Um, but this fragrance is outstanding. This is a true hot apple pie. I'm getting the apple, I'm getting the pie, the crust, 
the juice coming out of the apple melded with the caramelized spices. Oh my god. Okay, this is definitely a yes. Uh, next up, I'm going to be trying Sea Salt and Orchid by Candle Science. Really interesting. I'm getting a sea salt and I'm getting the orchid. I'm also getting a lot of other marine oceanside notes from this. Um, this is a really popular fragrance. Uh, this has like the highest reviews, I want to say, out of Candle Science's fragrances. And for good reason. Uh, this has a beautiful throw coming out of the bottle. It's very strong and prominent. I think that this candle is going to perform very well and sell extremely well uh, if you're considering like a summer line for uh, soy candles. Um, I will be putting this in my maybe pile. It definitely won't be a part of the rustic collection, but I will probably be adding this to my summer line if the hot throw is um, what I think it's going to be. Okay, next up we're going to try blue from uh, the or however you say that, I think it's French, uh, the Flaming Candle. Now, I'm thinking this is gonna be like a cologne or a perfume, and I'm thinking I'm probably not gonna like it. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what this reminds me of? It's something by Chanel. It's a, it's a Chanel wannabe, or a Versace wannabe. Something you'd go at Marshall's and get, you know, for 10 or 12 bucks in a bottle that's a wannabe for a high-end fragrance. Uh, okay, um, next let's go ahead and try Mahogany Teakwood by The Flaming Candle. I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to compare with my Palo Santo Patchouli from The Flaming Candle. Um, because that to me smelled like a really nice Mahogany Teakwood. Um, and definitely had more of an earthy component than some of the mahogany teakwoods that I've smelled. Um, can be almost like a floor cleaner, so we'll see how this one... Hmm. Okay, I definitely am getting the mahogany in this very strong, um, but there's a lot of other wood notes besides just the teakwood. Um, Cedar, sandalwood, amber, a little bit of patchouli. This is intriguing to me. Um, I won't be adding this to my collection anytime soon, but if you're looking for a good uh, kind of cologne, masculine-like fragrance, I would definitely uh, recommend checking out this Mahogany Teakwood uh, by The Flaming Candle. Okay, we're down to the very last two here. Let's check out uh, Cake by Candle Science. Mm. Yeah, you know what this smells like? Uh, if you've ever had a cake that you got from a bakery, uh, deep flavor profiles, the cake was delicious, it had royal buttercream icing and a few weeks later you had the cake sitting out that's what this smells like uh old cake okay uh last but not least we're gonna check out library by the F uh candle science i have a candle myself that's called hogwarts library so i was just intrigued with this name on this fragrance and i kind of wanted to see how this smells. So this wasn't like necessarily for my rustic collection. No. Uh, um, this smells like some sort of a polish that I have for my car, but like I had it out all winter and it, it froze and remelted a few times. Um, 
So that's all for today's video. Um, I hope to do another haul very soon with more fragrances to try out for first impressions for my rustic collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe um, for more content like this and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>